What would you say to people to say, you know what, Papoose is not relevant enough to even be coming to Kendrick Lamar like that? Now, when he put it out there, everybody was shitting. Mm. Oh, New York, what y'all niggas gonna do now? Everybody thought it was cute. Mm. But then when I bombed on him, everybody mm. feel sorry for him now. He covering both bases, man, hip hop and he, you know what I'm saying, getting that publicity out there and, you know, shaking the game up and bringing it back to where it, it was. You starting to sound like Rosenberg up here, man. What's up, man? I thought you was my man, man. Yo, What's I, up, bro? I fuck with, I fuck with you, dog, <laughs> and I fuck with Rosenberg. I'm everybody friend. I'm no in doubt. every game. You know what? Oh, okay. I'm you're, in every you, game. Okay, you in a political, a political man, field. Man, I'm a crib, I'm a blood, I'm a holy. I'm, this nigga stupid, I'm, man. Man, I'm G unit. <laughs> all, all kind of shit. This is fifty. All this shit. I ain't, I ain't mad at you. I just wanna say, you know, can we can we all get along? Can we can we get along? Hey, check it out. You basing your eyes on Pat Pulse right now. We representing on this is fifty dot com, Brooklyn. Control yourself, nigga. Control, nigga. That's my single. Hey, yo, Kendrick. Yo, Kendrick. Good looking on that summer jam mode. But you ain't the king of shit. Shit. Wait, yo, 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 Papoose. This dude, it came out the gate, you know what I'm saying? Like, your first album. Mm -hmm. He did it. He just did a million. He just sold a million copies of that Congratulations. Shit. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like I said, every show, he, he's performing at white colleges all over the country. I mean, white and black people love him. Mm hmm. Uh, you know, even the, even the label didn't even really have to push him like that for him to get all this commercial success. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Papoose. A lot of his accolades mm -hmm. are kind of like, they're, 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 your accolades and his accolades don't even like, you know what I'm saying, balance out the same way. Can you? How can you really, you know, just jump out the window and say some shit like that about Kendrick it, Lamar? It's not a jumping out the window thing. Let mm. me explain something to you. Okay. All of that stuff you just named, does that make him the king of New York? Because that's the topic of this whole discussion. Right, right, right. None of that shit don't make him king of New York. Mm. I congratulate. I'm a congratulatory. Are you the king of New Hold York? Hold on, let me finish. I'm a congratulatory. Okay. I congratulate the brother for all of that commercial, mm. you know, because all oh, that's political. Mm. It don't really take no talent to do that, you know. Mm. We've seen that in the past history in, in hip-hop. Okay. But that doesn't make him king of New York. You don't disrespect New York City, a city that embrace you mm. and support you. Mm. So, period. You don't do that. Okay. Well, um, with that being said... If you could say anything to Kendrick Lamar right now, what would you say to him? I said everything, man. I ain't got enough to I say. I mean, there he is right there. If you scared, <laughs> that's him right there looking at you. Listen, man, go get. You, said, you heard what I said already. Mm. Everything I had to say, I said it already, man. Mm. Hands down, you know. They well, saying R.I.P. to the brother. Wow. This is hip hop, man. You, right, right. You right. talking about accolades and all these fancy words? That shit don't got nothing to do with this culture, bro. Mm. This shit wasn't built on that. That's what's fucking it up. They put that into the game, and you know that's what's kind of water, watering it down and taking away from. You know what I feel like it is. Let me finish. Okay. That's what's taking away from the average cat in the hood feeling like he could be successful. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because they looking at somebody else, you know, accomplishments and the materialistic things. Like, oh, I can't get that. Mm. Hip hop is not about that. This shit is about everybody got a chance, man. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And if you get too cocky in your head, get too big, and you want to disrespect the mecca where hip hop was started, I got to get you, man. Man, Kendrick Lamar is one of the most humblest in, in guys man. I've ever met. He don't sound humble on that, in that verse. That's where it posed. That's where you posed to be flagrant. At. So guess what? Somebody gonna respond flagrant. The energy Point you put out there, that's what come back to you. I did not want to harm this man. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> but my mind, y'all, it was poisoned <laughs> by the system. Yeah. yeah. I did, there it is right there. You, you summed it all up right there. Man. You know what I mean? So it is. With, I mean, I think Touché. he. I think he wanted that. That's, mm. why he, that's why he did that. He, okay. he knew it was coming. You know what I mean? Mm. A Machiavelli offspring. You know what I mean? Wow. That's what he said. Wow. You 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 broke all that shit down till you dissected yeah. this whole. thing. Oh yeah, I pay attention. And that's you know that's where it ends. I mean, you know, if he want to do something, if he want to say something, then we see what happened. But uh, up to right now, I ain't thinking about that kid no more. Oh, there it is. You know what I mean? I, I, did, I do this for New York, like I said, man. You ain't gonna disrespect New York and get away with it. Okay. You know what I mean? Period. Y'all don't know me, I'm crazy, boy! I'm crazy! Brooklyn, boy, Brooklyn! Now, more controversial Papoose shit. So, I mean, we could do this shit all day! So, you say, you you just think Jay Z is an all right rapper, man. You said that. Oh, you gonna go to that shit, man? Yeah, I'm going to that <laughs> shit, man. How could you? Mm hmm. Yeah, that, I mean, that's how I feel, yeah. Why? Jay-Z. I think he's all right. It's, listen, it's not a bad thing to be all right. I ain't say he was whack. Mm. I think on a business level, he's an incredible businessman. Mm. 
You understand what I'm saying? Mm. But as far as being lyrically inclined, he's all right. That's not a. That's not. It's good that you all right. I ain't say he was whack. To say that this is to say that you think you better than Jay Z, dog. Oh and man, you know, listen. Hey, listen. New York hold him in high regard. Hey, listen, Jack Thriller. Ain't none of them niggas fucking with me. Wow. I'm gonna tell you that right now. And, and if a motherfucker get in front of this camera and tell you different about they self, then something wrong with them. You understand what I'm saying? Touche. I, I think he's all right. On the, like I said, as far as being a businessman, incredible businessman. But come on, I, you know, I'm into extreme lyricists, man. Mm. Mm. Now, let's go ahead and skip on over to Kanye and Drake. My boy got a list. You say they wear a lot of clothes that women wear, and they're <laughs> feminizing hip-hop. Mm -hmm. Why do you feel that way, man? What, what happened to just the word fashion? Fashion. Fashion. You know, sometimes fashion that. can be androgynous. Mm -hmm. Now, would I wear some of the shit? They, no. You wouldn't say, you I wouldn't wear the shit, but I think it's fashionable, and I understand you it. You think so? Yeah. What about when they wore the skirt? Hold on. See, I, 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 can, I, I want can, you to rush your answer, bro. Listen, once I want again. You to speak on, I, want you to, I don't think it was a skirt. I think it was more of a, it was, it, they had, he had on pants under it. Oh shit! Yeah, don't pants under it. So it, oh, you, you know, man. you ever oh. let me ask you: you ever had a sweater, right? You ever have a sweater and tied this shit in front of you? Shit. Nah, man. My unique sense of style. Yeah, like that weird little skirt thing you always wear. It's cool. It's my shirt. Uh, see, that's what I mean. The way you call it a shirt. I'm not, I'm not with guys wearing dresses at all. Mm -hmm. It's not. I don't, not even in comedy. I don't. I don't ever see myself dressing up like a woman to do that. Mm -hmm. And a lot of yeah. comedians got to do that to cross over. I ain't, yeah, I, I, I don't. You know that, I don't. Right? Yeah, I, I heard about it. I heard about it. <laughs> it's like when I see that they put every black man in the movies in a dress at some point in their career, I'll be connecting them down like, why all these brothers got to wear a dress? Why, why, why we always got to do that to be successful? Why we got to sell our manhood? You feel me? And why are these dudes bringing that into hip hop? That never been allowed in our culture. To each his own, I don't got nothing against nobody, but I feel like why do we got to sacrifice that? What's next for Papoose though? I'm just focused, man. I, actually, my next move was to drop this next album. You know mm. what I'm saying? I got such a good response. I did it on my own label, own distribution deal, put it out there to the world. And the way they received it, they saying, yo, listen, you took a long time to drop this first one. You know what I mean? We fucking with you again now. Don't take seven more years to drop the next one. Don't do it to us. Like so what I'm trying to do is drop this consistent. next one before this year is out. Mm. I'm going to have this next one in the street. I say around November, December. Man, no is there anything you want to tell the people of this is Hey, man, everybody? listen, man, I'm going to tell y'all this. Next year around this time, Remy going to be home. You know what I'm saying? She be home July 30th next year. Free Remy is the movement. R.I.P. to my brother Strong. I love you. I'm keeping the movement going. Long live Thug Occasion. Go to iTunes. Get that Nasarima Dream album. Support my man. He one of the funniest motherfuckers on the internet. Keep me laughing. I seen him do some shit with some dudes walked in the barbershop and shit. And this nigga was sitting there and they told the nigga, let me get a drop. And the nigga spent the round and put a gun in their face, some funny shit. So this nigga right here, They go down in real life. Yo, this they, one of the, real talk, not because I'm sitting in front of him, this nigga keep me laughing, man. And y'all don't really see me laugh a lot, but this is a funny dude. So I want to salute him, man, doing this thing. Man. Yo, real, real yo talk. after Kevin, it's me, man. <laughs> Niggas got to get used to that shit. Nah, keep doing your thing, It's bro. going down, elevator, basement. You just can't say you're real. It's something you got to be. Papoos, man, we over, we out of here. Do I have something in mind? Y'all go to commercial. Brooklyn. Don't kiss the hoes in the mouth unless you got to. Ew.